Hi everyone, I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and thank you for joining me for this live broadcast where we're going to be discussing blank apparel that's going to be a huge hit for the fall season coming up. All right, so if you are decorating team jerseys, one trend we're seeing across the board for team jerseys is um, adding patterns into the actual piece of apparel so that you have something to correlate your name and number with. All right, so if I'm uh, doing this for a maroon, white, and silver, this would be ideal for me. I can pop metallic silver numbers on this and really create a standout piece for um, a local football team. Another popular uh, item, again, we're still seeing a lot of pattern in this. This is a dye sub garment and this is uh, sourced from Sanmar. This is a Sport Tech brand. So you can see this really unique pattern in this and Sport Tech does this really well. It's 100% polyester, so we're able to print this uh, with a heat press just fine. And we're going to be able to print this without getting any dye migration. So Another thing that we're seeing, and not only in sportswear, but also uh, just outerwear across the board in retail, are coaches' jackets, which is really unique uh, and something new that is definitely trending. So one thing that I've noticed whenever we're doing research on all this popular apparel is that we're going back. So we're like looking back to move ahead. We're doing a lot of very uh, retro style garments and this is one of them. So you can see this one here has a very Americana theme to it. And you can get this in just a couple other colors, but this is sourced from Sanmar as well. And this is an alternative apparel brand. Okay. This is one of my favorite favorites because it's taking three different trendy styles and incorporating it into one. So we have the varsity stylings on the sleeve where we have the striping. And then we have a scuba neck or cow neck, if you will. Okay, so that's where the neck actually kind of comes up as a loose turtleneck type fit. And then it has the electric heather threaded throughout this garment. So it has the dimension, it has the varsity stylings, and it has that high neck that's very popular. And Next we have unique types of garments that are trending in retail and that we can start printing for our customers for fan wear. So the first one I have is boxer craft and you can see that the sleeves fall off to the side, okay? So if someone were wearing this, this is how it would look. Okay, another popular one is a bodysuit, okay? So this looks a lot like a leotard or a swimsuit. Uh, and this is just 100% cotton, but le uh, these bodysuits are gonna be huge because they're easy for layering. Okay, this is sourced from Bella Canvas. If you're looking for an all-around wholesaler, Sanmar offers Bella Canvas as well as SNS Activewear. Okay, the next one is a hoodie from Burnside. Okay, so this is kind of a uh, new brand in that it's not something we usually show in any of our lives or classes or videos. So Burnside is a source from SNS Activewear, and they do a ton of almost retail-ready garments. But of course, we want to be able to profit by printing personalization or custom prints on a hoodie like this. So with that, so that's kind of like a little bit of a retro style as is this one. So this one's very unique and actually one of my favorites that Samar started offering whenever they brought on New Era. Okay, so this is a New Era brand and I just love the color blocking that they did in this. So they have the black type of uh, raglan top and then they go into the white sleeve and then add more black where they have the ribbed cuff. Okay, so for the next one, this is another New Era top, okay? And this is unique because it has a uh, piping all the way around the sleeve, around the collar, and then also the pocket, okay? So those are, uh, t this is like a two-dimensional type of uh, garment because of all of those colors. So it goes all the way around the hood and the collar and then the sleeves. Okay, so getting into more retro, these are garments that we've seen in the past and are being reused, okay? So this is the ever so famous Ringer Tee. Okay, so this has the uh, piping around the sleeve and the collar, and this is an alternative brand, okay? So again, purchased from Sanmar. This next one is one of my favorites because it's incorporating mesh, that vintage jersey line at the top, and then our varsity stylings, okay? 
so okay so this was sourced from blue 84 that's the brand and it was ordered from sns active wear okay so they offer blue 84 there so if you're looking to source something like this that's very thin and lightweight and very slinky this is going to be your go-to especially for fan wear because it just screams jersey or faux jersey okay. This is still very popular. It has that Americana theme as well. So earlier we were talking about Varsity Stylings and how this one has a very Americana theme. That's very popular, red, white, and blue for any co uh, customers, customers, colors, uh, and for any schools that you can easily incorporate this into. However, alternative apparel is very good at thinking about all the decorators and the opportunities that you can have with a style like this. So they do offer this uh, without the pattern sleeve, or if you are looking for a pattern sleeve, they offer it in camo as well. So, so these leggings, and these are being seen in just about every retail store at this point, are leggings, athletic leggings, with mesh incorporated into them. So athleisure fits multiple markets. People love being more comfortable than not. So being able to offer a legging that has that popular effect to it with that mesh is going to increase your profitability with this. This is for, sourced from SNS Activewear, and I believe I'm pronouncing this right, Soybu. All right, so I hope I didn't totally butcher that, but that is the brand, and they offer a variety of unique um, athleisure apparel that incorporates mesh. Okay, so for instance, they offer a jacket that has a nice mesh piping down the hood and down the back of this jacket. And another popular garment that they are creating is a twisted strap racer back. And okay, another unique athleisure item that's not from Soybu but is from Ogio is this Henley t-shirt. So it is 100% polyester and it has a really cool um, like mesh inside so you're getting like a two-tone where it's white and gray inside and then um, gray a lot more gray outside than there is white but one for the men's in the athleisure division is a color block quarter zip all right so it has a nice heathered top and then a solid bottom okay so we're getting that really cool seam that people love in color blocking and in retail and then it has just a really nice collar and zipper to it then getting into more of the comfy stuff which is still considered athleisure but it's not 100 percent polyester this is a uh, cotton poly blend and this is from alternative apparel so joggers are still the talk of the town whenever it comes to athleisure apparel they love the tight ankles with the rest of it being pretty baggy. So you can see that it starts to taper in the leg and then it gets to a nice tight ankle there. This is one of my favorites that came out earlier in 2018 and I just see being a huge hit for the fall fan wear season. Okay, so it has this unique braided, um, I guess you would call it just a string. <laughs> uh, you need a braided string that you would just tie a little bow here once it's on. And then this is a cotton poly blend. So all I have to do is just pick a heat transfer vinyl that applies at a nice low temperature and I can decorate this with ease. Okay. Another one is our uh, just basic crew neck sweatshirt. This is one that I picked because this is offered in really unique patterns as well. So I definitely urge you to go on to SNS Activewear and to look at this crew neck because it is so soft. Right, and this is to me a really cool look because it does have two totally, three totally contrasting colors. We have white, we have gray, and then we have an olive green. Okay, so you can't really tell from the camera there, maybe just a little bit, a hint of gray in here, which complements what they're doing here for this polo part and this gray inside of the buttons. Um, but it has gray striping all throughout this and it comes in multiple colors as well. Okay, so you're able to uh, use this for multiple schools if you need to. Okay, so this is alternative apparel and again, sourced from Sanmar. 
Cavio does children's apparel so well, and they always keep the decorator in mind. So you can see the uh, red color blocking and striping and uh, piping that I have all in one onesie. So this would be perfect to offer in my shop to show, hey, I'm able to do children's apparel. I can add whatever you want to this garment. Cavio is very well priced. It's spelled K-A-V-I-O, and they do very trendy children's apparel. That's really what they're known for. Okay, this is a, a raglan tee where we have a solid front, striped sleeves, and then completely striped in the back. And then they do just basic t-shirts in a ton of different colors. All right, so for our demonstrations, uh, we are going to do a uh, striping on a tank top. So this tank top has a very raw edge, so the seam is not going to get in the way of me getting a nice pressure here. The only seam I really have to worry about is the seam that's on side of this tank top. And that's exactly why we have the heat printing pillow under here to ensure that we're still going to get a nice even pressure whenever we're applying our striping. I'm going to grab my cover sheet here and cover my application. And I'm just applying glitter flakes so I can apply that at 302 degrees for 15 seconds. It's just gonna go ahead and release after it counts down my time. My glitter flake is a hot peel, so I can go ahead and peel that back. All right, so that is an easy way to add what's very popular in apparel to a garment. One thing that, I'm not that we're noticing in retail is, sorry, I'm trying to hold this so that you can see it. One thing we're noticing in retail is things are becoming more and more blank and there are subtle little logos or customization to the garment. But for the most part, people like just wearing blank stuff. So if we can add subtle prints that aren't going to take up too much of the garment, that is going to add a lot of profitability. People are going to want to buy something that looks more blank than it is personalized, but being able to do this is going to allow us to do a uh, personalization and still profit from pieces such as these popular tank tops from Bella Canvas. For our next application, we're going to be printing one of those striped uh, varsity stylings hoodie from J America. And I'm just going to pop in my 11 by 15 platen so that I'm only working with one surface area of the hoodie and I'm just going to tack that for five seconds. And flock is a cold peel, so I'll actually peel that back from the platen for a few seconds, probably several seconds there, just so that it can get some cold air to it and not stay under on that hot platen. All right, so whenever I'm peeling my flock, I wanna make sure that it's not being distorted or anything. So I'm going to slowly peel this back because I have something that needs to line up directly with this split text. You're going to see how transparent it is or translucent because it's still a little bit milky there. And I'm just gonna line this up with my split text. All right, so I'll cover with my cover sheet, especially since I have a heat transfer vinyl that ex is exposed on there. I only want that to tack for just a few seconds because I need to apply foil. So I'm just gonna hit those buttons again so that it will release early. Adhesive is a hot peel, so I can peel the carrier back, be making sure that it's not going to distort. Okay, so I'm gonna pull upwards so that it's not distorting if I pull corner to corner. And then all I need to do is apply my foil. All the while I'm doing the adhesive and foil application, I am getting all of the dwell time I need for my flock to apply completely. All right, so I'll apply this for 10 seconds. And then after that is done applying, 
foil is a cold pill, so we'll wait for that to cool and peel that back. We found that split text is very popular whenever it comes to fan wear apparel. And I'm gonna put this back on the platen so that you can see the uh, effect that it has whenever I peel the foil back. So you can see that foil really shines. I'm getting a lot of texture from my flock and I'm getting even more dimension from the shiny foil. That is all that we have today. That's our last demonstration. We will be back on the morning show on Monday showing how you can create a split text like that in a free online artwork program called cadworkslive.com. So we'll show you how to create that in CADWorks, final cut it, and do a unique heat application using two totally different mixed media products. So be sure to join Zach Ellsworth and I at 11 a.m. Monday morning. Thank you so much for joining.